Graphing inequalities. Sketching the graph of a linear inequality. One step. What are they? Inequalities compare two values, showing if one is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. Why? Helps to compare two different numbers. Interesting fact. Puffins lay just one egg per year, and usually with the same mate. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Let's read the steps. Step 1. Determine if dotted or solid line. Step 2. Solve for y. Step 3. Pick two points. Step 4. Shade. Now, let's read the question. Sketch the graph of y minus 2x less than or equal to negative 4. Well, how do we solve for inequality? Let's write down an equation and inequality with the same terms to find out. Let's start with the equation. We could graph them here by finding the x and y intercepts, but let's solve for y so we can see the slope and the y intercept easier. What do we think is the first step? That's right, we have to add 2x to both sides, so we get y is equal to 2x minus 4. Let's solve for y with the inequality. What do we think is the first step? That's right, we add 2x to both sides, so we get y is less than or equal to 2x minus 4. So solving for y with equations and inequalities is very similar. Let's write down our equation and inequality again to find two points, so we can graph our line. Let's use 0 for our input. So we have y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 4. And 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So the output is negative 4. And our point is 0, negative 4. Let's do the same with the inequality. So we have y is less than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 4. And 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So the output is negative 4 and our point is 0, negative 4. What point do we think we just found? That's right, the y-intercept. That is our first point. So finding points with equations and inequalities is very similar. Let's find the second point. Once again, let's start with the equation. Let's use 4 as the input. So we have y is equal to 2 times 4 minus 4 and 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So the output is 4, and our point is 4, 4. Let's do the same with the inequality. So we have y is less than or equal to 2 times 4 minus 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So the output is 4, and our point is 4, 4. Let's plot the point on the graph. Let's connect the dots. Why do we think we have a solid line and closed circles for the two points we plotted? That's right, since the less than has or equal to, the points on the line are included. So the line and the two points we plotted must be solid or filled in. Now we need to pick two points, one to the left of the line and one to the right of the line, so we know where to shade. Let's pick 0, 0 and 4, 0. This time, we're using the given inequality in case we made a mistake with our operations. Now, let's substitute 0, 0 into the inequality. So we have 0 minus 2 times 0 less than or equal to negative 4. And 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So we have 0 less than or equal to negative 4. Do we think that is true or false? That's right, that is false. Now, let's substitute 4, 0 into the inequality. So we have 0 minus 2 times 4 less than or equal to negative 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. And 0 minus 8 is negative 8. So we have negative 8 less than or equal to negative 4. Do we think that is true or false? That's right, that is true. Since 4, 0 is true, we need to shade this section of the graph to tell us that any point in that section makes the inequality true. 
Let's get rid of the points we used to sketch the line to avoid any closed or open circle mistakes. That is example one. Let's move on to example two. Now, let's read the question. Sketch the graph of negative 2y less than 3x minus 2. Well, how do we solve for inequality? Let's write down an equation and inequality with the same terms to find out. Since y is almost by itself, let's solve for y, so we can see the slope and the y-intercept easier. What do we think is the first step? That's right, we need to divide the left side by negative 2, which means we need to divide each term on the right side by negative 2. So our result is y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 1. Let's solve for y with the inequality. What do we think is the first step? That's right, we need to divide the left side by negative 2 which means we need to divide each term on the right side by negative 2. So our result is y is greater than negative 3 halves x plus 1. Remember, when we divide negative numbers, when we have inequalities, we have to flip the sign. So that is why we have greater than and not less than. So solving for y with equations and inequalities is very similar. This time, instead of finding two points to sketch the line, we're going to use the slope and the y-intercept. What do we think is the slope and the y-intercept? That's right, the slope is negative 3 halves and the y-intercept is 1. Let's plot the y-intercept. Now, let's use the slope, or rise over run, to graph the next point. So we go up 3, which is the rise, and to the left 2, which is the run, since we have a negative slope. What do we think is the next point going down using the slope? That's right, 2, negative 2, because we went down 3, which is the rise, and to the right 2, which is the run. So graphing with the slope and y-intercept with equations and inequalities is very similar. Now, let's connect the dots. Why do we think we have a dotted line and open circles for the three points we plotted? That's right. Since a greater than does not have or equal to, the points on the line are not included. So the line and the three points we plotted must be dotted or open. Now, we need to pick two points, one to the left of the line and one to the right of the line, so we know where to shade. Let's pick negative 3, 1 and 4, 2. This time, we're going to use the given inequality in case we made a mistake with our operations. Now, let's substitute negative 3, 1 into the inequality. So we have negative 2 times 1 is less than 3 times negative 3 minus 2. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And negative 9 minus 2 is negative 11. So we have negative 2 is less than negative 11. Do we think that is true or false? That's right. That is false. Now, let's substitute 4, 2 into the inequality. So we have negative 2 times 2 is less than 3 times 4 minus 2. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 minus 2 is 10. So we have negative 4 is less than 10. Do we think that is true or false? That's right. That is true. Since 4, 2 is true, we need to shade that section of the graph to tell us that any point in that section makes the inequality true. Let's get rid of the points we use to sketch the line to avoid any closed or open circle mistakes. That is example 2. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question and I'll show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Here's part one, here's part two, here's part three, and here's part four. Did you get it correct? Fantastic. If not, there's always tomorrow.